Somebody on Facebook picked a fight. Come on this wild ride with me. Context is, this is a post from, I will tag the person below. And they were educating about how an open house that's open to the public is required to follow ADA guidelines. This person had a lot to say. The OP shared that service dogs save lives and a potential allergy is not a reason to deny access. And if you have such a severe allergy, you wouldn't be having an open house open to the public because it's something you would discuss with your realtor beforehand. Kendall says, sure, they can save a life if they're not unaliving another. Like the OP said, they wouldn't allow me to have an open house if we were still occupying it because of the risk. A dog is a dog, no matter how well trained, and people are not allergic to pets, they're allergic to fur and dandruff. Just because you have a disability doesn't grant you access to everywhere in the world, and some places you just won't be able to go, and that's okay. No, Kendall, it's not okay. That's called discrimination. I fired back with the only places we're not granted access are operating rooms, burn centers, and churches. Anywhere the public is allowed to go, we go. You're just an ableist. With one of my favorite videos of Lucifer and I working as a team at Spirit Halloween, Kendall said, Oh, no, we're throwing out ist words now. My comment was purely about my home being open to strangers, of which the OP replied and said we probably just wouldn't do an open house. Sorry, I hurt your social justice warrior views. Maybe go back to Twitter. I honestly don't care. This is TikTok, Kendall. Get with the times. And I'm not a social justice warrior. I'm an advocate who has a service dog and has a severe allergy. I responded with, some places you just won't be able to go and that's okay, is what you said. You're advocating for discrimination despite laws put into place specifically because of people like you. Ableists. Kendall says, ah, so you are cherry picking what I said, even though there are three places you already know you can't go. There are a few places you can't bring your dog into, and I'm sorry if I or my child are deathly allergic to dogs. You saying that you have the right to enter my home just because you're protected by law is being an a-hole. You're clamoring for a pedestal to preach from, and I'm not about it. To which I replied... I'm sharing the law. Your home is public when you're having an open house. You can't cherry pick the law. I have deathly allergies to my own service dog. Your argument does not work here. Let me tell you, that blew his mind. Then you would be dead. It makes absolutely no sense. Deathly allergic means you die if you're allergic to it and without an EpiPen or medical treatment. Now you're just uttering nonsense. Have a wonderful day. And of course I responded with, yep, I'm allergic. I'm one of the very few people who have a potentially fatal allergy. It's called mast cell activation syndrome. And I carry an EpiPen because I, if I don't know when I'm about to have a cardiac emergency, breathing doesn't matter. Your argument is null. Because again, if you have an allergy that severe, you wouldn't be opening your home to the public. And then of course I linked my most recent video talking about my dog allergy and how I manage it. And then Kendall blocked me. But first seconds before blocking me posted to which kendall responded who said we are arguing crazy facebook lady you started calling me names because you don't like my opinion on facebook you've got issues and should probably seek help you know what's super wild kendall was a firefighter could you imagine someone with that flawed ideology and ignorance on the laws and accommodations for disabled people showing up to your medical emergency as a disabled person or someone who handles a service dog? Sounds like a nightmare to me. But as you all know, I love aggressively advocating for our rights. So this was a fun little adventure that we had with Kendall. If you would like to join in this argument, you can go over to the creator I tagged and find what her page name is. It'll be the top post on Facebook, I'm sure.